Well, I've got a project for myself today, and it's already wearing me out. I've already started digging out this hole. I came in a couple weeks ago with the tractor. I'm actually on the driveway here. You can see there's a long sloping driveway up this way. Same thing on the back side here. It catches down on this bottom and it runs off. Well, I've usually had a nice little ditch running off here. Well, I decided with the tractor to come in, dig a little ditch or a little hole that will hopefully hold water for the deer because I transition right up this little ridge on my driveway up into the food plot. So anyway, I had no idea I was going to catch this much water. It's filled up time and time again in the last two weeks. And it's actually washed out the back side of it. And it's kind of filled in with some gravel. So what I've got today is I've got a thick pond liner that I bought. And I'm going to go ahead and dig this out, smooth it out on the edges, uh, get everything ready to throw the liner in, throw the liner in, try to cover it up as much as I can, seed it, and it should prevent it from washing out. And it's going to hold water because right now when it fills up, it fills up. And it's about a foot and a half to two foot deep, but it only lasts a matter of hours before it's saturated all the way down into the soil and it is gone. So I've got a lot of work ahead of me. I'm going to finish digging this thing out and see how good this thing looks and predicted for rain in the next two days. So hoping it's going to start holding water. Well, I'm back out. I took a little break uh, because we got to the hot part of the day and I cleaned out this entire pond, got in there with the shovel. And just like I would a pond, I tried to get all the sharp rocks and all the roots and stuff that would penetrate that liner at all. I tried to get them out of there and smooth it down. Now I've also made a lip right here around the perimeter on the front side where the driveway runs into it because I noticed with that soft sided lip there, the water was running down and was actually washing soil away on the edge. So what I've done is I want to be able to tuck uh, that liner down right on top of that. I went and grabbed a whole bunch of uh, basically limestone slabs from the back of my property and grab those and I'm going to set those on top with cement on this edge. Now you don't have to go this fancy when you're doing this, but I want to because I don't want my driveway eroding away. If this was out in the middle of the woods and my driveway wasn't running right beside it, I might do something a little different. But this way it's going to have that hard edge that water is going to hit and it's not going to erode the edge away and we'll lay the tarp down. We'll probably put some rocks in the overflow area and the tarp should be big enough that it's going to even lay over the overflow area so we don't get any um, areas to be washed out in that area as well. So we'll see how big this tarp is and get it going. is it. This little water hole is done for now. I got the liner all the way in. It's a 13 by 20 foot liner. Um, I got a nice little spillway out the back. I used some really old cement that I found in the shop. Kind of cemented that so it wouldn't wash out anymore. Went ahead and stacked these rocks, cemented the edge. I think some gravel will probably fill in the little spots from the driveway the next rain. But I'm just going to leave it like this and allow that rain to fill it up and pull down this liner where it needs to and settle it in. Then afterwards, just because for my own personal preference, I'm going to come in, stack some more rocks along the edges so it won't pull in or get kicked in or anything. Go ahead and throw dirt up on top of the edges and I'll go ahead and grasp the bank. That way it holds it all together. And it will be a nice looking little water hole coming up and down this driveway. So a little bit of work. Hopefully it will go a long ways. This thing should hold about two foot of water so it's going to be a pretty good sized little water hole bigger than I was expecting um, but it was there so I went ahead and created it. it's going to be awesome to have here because right up you can see the clearing right up there is the food plot deer travel this this road like crazy because as you can see it's a huge pinch point there's a deep hauler right there and another deep hauler on the back side and it's the only land bridge pretty much 
into that food plot. So now they're going to have a water source up here and there's not really a water source uh, except the brand new one that we built in the kill plot on Rebel Hill. So I'm excited to get this done. I'm excited to show you guys how it turns out and then we've got ponds that are going to be started this next week on the property actually on the northern side of it. So super excited. A lot of stuff going on before deer season but this is going to aid us for seasons to come. So I had to get it done before the rains hopefully come tomorrow and fill this thing up. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this short little video watching me build a little water hole with a pond liner. If you guys enjoyed it, comment down below, give a thumbs up. And guys, until next time, have a better than average day.